Oh hey, can you see there? Welcome to my video. So as you can see on our title and our thumbnail, we're going to play Yasuo for a bit so I can show you how pro I am on playing Yasuo. Yep. So yeah. First blood, you have been slain. You have this been slain. Really you have been slain. Enemy killing spree. Rampage. Rampage. Double kill. Double kill. Defeat. Okay, let's start with Time Master. So the video clip I edited here is from uh, uh, the League of Legends channel on YouTube. So I downloaded it and put it here. So the, uh, the, this picture you're seeing right now, uh, I got it from uh, wallpaperaccess.com and I used it so I think it's for free. No, not I think it's for free. It's for free because it's wallpaperaccess.com free wallpapers you know so first of all we're going to cut this thing uh, using the polygon lasso tool polygonal lasso tool polygon lasso tool and we're going to use that uh, cursor thing and we're going to cut it out so I did a uh, time lapse of this video because this is so long um, if you see the raw uh, if you're going to see uh, the raw video the raw footage it's going to be way too long it's about two hours just to uh, just doing this not the whole uh, uh the whole video i mean the whole intro is almost two hours and more after that uh, i made the other layers invisible and make another layer of the yasuo and the other layer i removed the things here so it looks like this and the other layer it's just, just the hair. So you might be wondering, how do we animate this, like we uh, saw on the intro? So first of all, we're going to warp this, the hair, just a little bit, so it will look like it's moving by the wind. Yeah, it's moved by the wind. Uh, and we're going to make it frame by frame, so every uh, render of this is a frame so we need to make it at least uh, 10 frames or 10 pictures of that with different um, patterns of his hair which look it looks like it's moving and actually it's supposed to be 12 frames per second like an anime so uh, I forgot it while I'm doing this so uh, I accidentally turned it into 10 frames because I'm kind of bored Right, now we're back on Kind Master. So what we're going to do now is to put a green background, just like what they did here. And you might be asking why green. So we're going to make green screen. Now we're going to add a, the Yasuo uh, frames with it. So we're going to put all ten of them, or twelve. If we did twelve, I did the whole cycle of those ten and did it again. So it looks like that. So it it looks continuous. So we're going to render this video. After rendering this video, we're going to make another project and put this rendered video in there and change the speed to the maximum 16 times. So we're going to render this and do it again for the second one. So the frames doesn't look like crap. It doesn't look like it's uh, jiggly and stuff. By the way guys, if you're wondering where I got those music and photos I'm using on my videos, just check the link below and, you know. So now we're going to add the background. The background. Now, after adding the background, we're going to uh, make a effect called Cushion. Actually maximize it. And then now we're going to add the green screen. Of the Yasuo render we did earlier. Now enable the chroma key and do those things. Yeah, so don't forget to animate Yasuo like this. 
so it looks so dope it, it, the scene looks like the camera is moving and the scene is moving as well like we're in the scene now we're going to add these little stones i did on um, my last video click the link in the description below actually it's not my last video uh, it was my uploaded video uh, last week actually hey uh, never mind so we're going to add that there and then animate it as well so we have the connection between the the object and the background and the thing in front of us like in front of the camera i mean so and then we're going to add this post up here that looks kind of like a tree trunk and uh, maximize the size so it's also uh, i used that on my another video the video where i got those rocks before so we're going to add now the flare so make sure the one fourth uh, of the flare is only showing on the screen so it looks like a uh, that so now we're going to add the mist or the what you call that the smoke yeah the smoke background so we're going to add that and to the back put that to the back and now we're going to add the leaves which is um, which uh, does not satisfy me because you know it's i don't know if you can see that but it kind of looks like it's yeah now we are going to do the project the main project we're going to use where we started now we're going to add the rendered video in the last project now we're going to add it here and put a transition called the slice or the blade and now we're back and no 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 we're back not, not back now we are in pixel and now we're going to make your name uh, it's just your choice whether you put your name or someone's name so if you're wondering how do i get those fonts you've downloaded a uh, pixel lab and all you don't know how to add those fonts yeah you know, just comment down in the description uh, in the description just comment down below if you want that video so i'm going to make how i'm going to make tutorial how to add fonts on pixel lab so now we are back on photoshop touch and i'm going to cut this name in half just like this with the polygon that's so my favorite tool and now we're going to transform and move the lower part down just like that pixel nudge and we're going to put it up here right there just like that now we're going to save it and now we're back on pixel app we're going to uh, continue the other project just like that your name the same font and but the color must be uh invisible uh yeah the lowest uh, now we're going to add a stroke which is color white now we're going to remove the color of the main text just like so so it looks like this now we resized it and change the background color to no no so we're going to uh, make the stroke thinner first before we change the background color to transparent so make sure to save this as png or else the uh, invisible background won't work so we're back on main master where we're going to add the uh, text we did earlier so i'm going to put it here and now after i've placed it here i'm going to make some glitch animations just like these so first we're going to cut the uh, name right there and then the first part we're going to click the overall animation and make sure it's flicker so it looks like that it's like flickering like there now we're going to add some details to make it look uh, glitch to make, to make it look like glitch so we're going to duplicate those things later and do some stuff so it looks like what it looked like on the very first uh, clip i showed you which is the intro of the asso now here's the part i duplicated it and uh, remove the overall animation on the duplicated part and then resize it to the smallest just like a frame or so and put those there 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 make sure they take turns not simultaneously on the screen so it doesn't look like crap now we're going to add that a 
uh, we call that the speed thingy the animation thingy so it looks like it gave it a slice so now we're going to put it behind the post or the tree trunk we did earlier so it there's a connection between the text the object and the camera just like that so it looks more natural it doesn't look like it's a just a photos moving and another photo moving another top of a photo and then video you get it all right that's very good anyways what I'm doing on my channel is actually original uh, I didn't see this idea on any other youtuber I'm not put, uh, hugging the flame glory or something that's like that um, the story about this intro is when I'm about to sleep uh, I have insomnia and I'm just laying down I just think of some things random things then this comes to my mind so this is what it literally looks like on my imagination so I executed here and now please enjoy the latest render